pops it up to the advantage of his forwards. It's a two on three combination. Here's Jenner. Dribbles it, dribbles it, dribbles it. The bounce of the ball crawls him in the end. Our first real glimpse at, glimpse at Leroy Jetta. Yeah, no, the injury is to, to O'Brien, it looks like, and they'll miss him. He's coming off with that hamstring, just favouring it, a dashing half-back left footer from down. Prayer time during those under-16 championships a couple of years ago, and the, a lot of the other Victorian Metro boys had the loud music on and asked him to turn it down a little bit. Then they start to talk about his beliefs, and I've met the young man a couple of times, and he's beaten by the, the Victorian countryside by 12 points. And they have a remarkable record over the 10-year history since it went to under-18 level of 126 of 31. It's amazing. Metro. The WA at under-18 level, was a star at under-16 level, and was a member of the AES AFL Academy, and we saw him close up through that series against the Irish two years ago. Ball in the middle of the ground. We'll get down to Damien Marnie soon for an update from boundary side. As soon as we get a stop, through a little bit of inconvenience at the moment. Yeah, they would, but uh, sometimes there's that fine line between doing that and not being able to be at your full fitness, so you can't perform up to level. WA gets onto his right foot, puts it out in front of Cracker. Yet another Cracker. Don't hasn't that family produced some wonderful footballers? The Jeans are very, very good indeed. The ball comes to best Premier now. Turns back into traffic on the right foot. Looks for Jetta, the other one. Use his body well. This is where he's exciting. Ball in front of him. He's got space. Gee, he was closed down. Excellent work. The oh. kick was outstanding from Leroy Jetta. Under extreme pressure from Patrick Visprami, who's hurt himself in the tackle. But uh, and Jetta slow to get up. Visprami. Patrick Visprami. Visprami. He's too young. Grimes, Curry and also Everett. Well, what about that for recovery from Leroy Jetta? We want to see people front and square. 15 seconds ago, he was out like a light in the forward pocket. And watch his work here, Shifter. Just reads it beautifully. He's, he he is, we're talking about draftable players. He was an All-Australian last year at this level. And we've just been waiting waiting for him to emerge in the waffle at, at South Frio. He's now played a little bit of senior footy there. By the end of this year, he's capable of starring at that level, I believe, just on what we're seeing of him. He had it 26 times the other day. Uh, was a good player for WA, but didn't finish off as well as he would have liked. Uh, he's capable of really kicking a bag full. Gee, that was exciting stuff. Goes with the left boot this time inside 50. Looking for Jennifer's Bremi in front. Does well. Everett went support. Best Bremi goes again. A pack develop. Free kick being paid here against Western Australia. You saw it, Jared. Good call. Yeah, holding the man. He uh, unfortunately took his board in the tackle. Eight, but it's a much better second quarter performance by WI. Jenner tackled without the ball in the middle of the ground. And he and Collard have both lifted their intensity in this second quarter. Both very important to the West Australian squad. He goes to the leading player. That was Gumbleton and being taken front on. And eventually finding Clark. He was under pressure, however, from Foster, who laid the tackle. Here's Jetta. A little bit of magic. He couldn't break free. Clark now gets the footy again for Vic Metro and suddenly finds himself in a bit of space on his right foot. Stay out there in terms of the injury. Maston's got for some poise for Western Australia. He shared it to Jetta. He finds Virgo, who was busy there. We see young Dean Kelly and Daniel Curry, both looking like a double interchange might be made by Metro. This Bremi clears it again from halfback. He goes wide. Looks for Cruiser, who came on the long loop, but doubling back and taking a brave mark was Leroy Jetta. He goes long looking for Gumbleton, who clears Vespre clears Clark, I should say. And in the clearance, gets the handball out. There's Lewenberger, he can't take the mark. Big tackle by Riddle from Big Metro, but another one forward for Western Australia just sprays wide. That looked like Jetta, who got his boot to ball in that pack. Let's go. Sorry, Sorry mate. No, I was just going to say, the ball's hardly made it past uh, Vic Metro. A lot of talk about the Western Bulldogs tolls. Are you looking any, at any big guys specifically? No, no, we just take the... Uh, and our people just take the best time to buy and all that. Gumbleton again. Goes back Jetta, who's been very impressive this quarter. Trying to go off the ground was Brown. Unsuccessfully. So mum. Okay. And, and uh, yeah, so and he's got a great hunger to, to want to play. He looks a competitor. Moss gets the clearance for WA and he finds Gumbledon. A couple of their very good players linking up. Gumbledon moves it on quickly, goes into the space. He was looking 
fourth Foster. Good defensive work from the Metro boys. Moss attacks it. They all stood back and let him have a purchase of the footy. They managed to clear it now. Metro again. Adams has a fumble and regathers. They move the ball out well. Unfortunately, crack up for the big Metro ball. Certainly not unfortunately for WA. Chips in and will send them back into attack. They need to get something going. Jed is the target. Stood his ground. Couldn't take the mark. Matt Mac McKay was in there for Metro. Ridden into the ground. Unfortunately, it was a with Adams. Adams on the left, puts it out in front of Cruiser, but it didn't have to carry all the depth. And now they're away, Western Australia. Dick in space, plays on immediately. Dick, he goes wide to a one-on-one, -on -one, looking for Jetta. Goes with the one hand. Anderson, good work when the ball hit the ground. He's got some toe. Moss, the handball wasn't the equal of the gather. Adams now goes to Vasa Marcus. They're working the ball well in a tight space here. The free kick is yeah. going to be paid for an illegal tackle. To David McKay. Had a bit of trouble with McKay. I don't know whether it's McKay. No, it's McKay. McKay. Definitely David McKay. Macca. Right. Just call him Macca, mate. I'll call him Macca. Macca. He congested forward line. Spilled over to uh, two arguing at the wrong times, but. Uh... Gumbledon goes to Jetta. He kicks it into a lot of territory. Hawley now working back across half back. No one wants to get near Gary Moss. He's only got one side. Well, he prefers it anyway. The left. And why wouldn't you when you use it as well as it does? Jetta sells the dummy. Finds a bit of space. Goes to his partner in prime, Collar. Moving the ball. Just stuffy. Western Australia trying to work their way back into the contest. Jetta. Clark. Vasilevsky. Watch this left foot. Four clearances for Maston so far for the afternoon. They go long out of defence and Allen stands up. Two against one. Metro had the numbers and he takes a good mark, Jared Allen. Looking inboard. He's got a man on. It's a danger. Look direct. Now he goes short to Jetta who provides the run. He's the one who releases it inside 50. It's a tumbling ball and over the back. Dick now a chance. He's second in, run in the running for the footy. He can't get there. Forks read it nicely. Continues. He's allowed to go now. Jetta. Read it nicely. Cruiser made an attempt, but it was Jetta who had the run. Big fist and fly from Allen. It's a little bit like uh, Longmill in the ruck for Fremantle, in the way that he goes about his footy. Trying to cut it off there is Vasa Marcus. He was unable to do so. West Australia need to find a way through here. Maston, Australia. He goes short for Jetta, who's getting the footy, but he's not getting it in damaging positions at the moment. Colbert. You just have to, at times, uh, put your body on the line. When it's your turn to go, you have to go. And, uh, and that occasion was just a one-handed effort. Happens if somebody hasn't already, some sports agent hasn't already signed him up. Put your hand up, man. You can go. Oh, yeah, it's right up my alley. That's sort of thing. <laughs> Jetta tries to work a bit of magic, but Vasilevsky was up to the task. Metro boys have been all that sharp. 11 15's been their return. Jetta flies. He can't take the mark. Does well at ground level. Shares it with Morton. Morton on the left boot. Goes looking for Foster. He can't take the mark. In fact, it was an outstanding effort. Throw side. He's getting better the game. The further the game goes. Jetta, who's racking up some possessions in this final quarter, but doing most of it in his defensive half, is being watched closely by Vasilevsky. Thing, but he's like a chatty Fletcher. Just keeps getting the ball, and that's what the game's all about. And makes great decisions. He's neat and tidy with his disposal. He just needs some body strength, which will come in the next uh, number of years. <laughs> Leroy Jetta, who was decked after he got rid of the ball, wins the free kick for his side further afield but he set Gary Moss a task with that ball forward it was uh, Moss against about three or four Victorians McKenzie looked for Jetta on the cruise by Jetta knew the man was coming for him it was Clark in fact no it wasn't it was Vasa Vasilevsky they shared the ball McKenzie